clean drinking water is vital to the life of this community. Colonel Allensworth had been a slave and he escaped slavery at an early age, joined the Union military. Colonel Allensworth and a group of people came and founded this community of Allensworth in 1908 with the whole premise of being self-governed. They wanted safety, they wanted to be self-sufficient. All of the water that we, we drill for in this area is, is heavy laden with arsenic. And, and, and we have to do something to, to get rid of that. Arsenic is one of the most toxic naturally occurring substances. It's spread naturally all around the Earth's crust. It's found almost everywhere. And under certain conditions, arsenic will leach into groundwater. Primary effects of arsenic range from lower IQ for children to early onset of diabetes to a range of internal cancers. So these are five of our electrochemical reactors. We call it acai air cathode assisted iron electrocoagulation. In the reactor, one wall is made out of steel and the opposite wall is made out of carbon cloth. The steel dissolves and makes a kind of rust. The carbon cloth creates tiny amounts of hydrogen peroxide which it releases in the reactor water, enabling now that rust to quickly capture the arsenic that we are then able to separate just like any other suspended solids in water. This is our settling tank and so the kind of the where all of the arsenic ends up is in the sludge and you'll see that being collected here at the bottom. So then the clear water on top of the settling tank overflows into just a holding tank so that we're able to again pump all of that water that's mostly clean through the rapid sand filter. And so the water gets pushed through this sand filter to remove bigger particles that have kind of escaped. And then we have the micron filters. We take samples every hour to check on arsenic concentrations. So the influent groundwater has about 200 parts per billion arsenic. By the time we've treated this water, it's coming out consistently below 10 parts per billion. This promises to be one of the lowest, if not the lowest cost ways to reliably remove arsenic from groundwater at a price that local communities can afford. With drought as an issue for all of us, especially here in California, we're seeing groundwater levels go lower and essentially concentrates the arsenic levels in the water we have. A system like Dr. Gadgill's will definitely be one of those uh, systems that we look at for sustainability. Uh, I'm very excited about the future. I believe that if it can work here, then there are implications for communities not only throughout California, but around the country and around the world.